concussions remain a big issue facing football today. While the league has done much to protect today's players, retired players say they continue to struggle with brain damage decades after they hung up their jerseys. But there is a hope. Tonight, I go one on one with one of the greatest players ever as he and other Hall of Famers push to make a revolutionary treatment part of the football landscape. <laughs> Legendary linebacker Dave Robinson is at a clinic in Bethesda, Maryland, doing something he seldom did as a Hall of Fame player, lying down. You glad you did this? I'm, I'm, I'm apprehensive right now. <laughs> Robinson is taking his first dive in a hyperbaric chamber. While the FDA approves hyperbaric oxygen treatment, or HBOT, for 14 conditions, it has yet to approve it for treating brain injuries, even though 17 peer-reviewed studies show HBOT heals injured brains. Dr. Joe Maroon, a neurosurgeon for the Pittsburgh Steelers, says HBOT works. Are you a believer in hyperbaric? Yeah, it reduces inflammation in the body and also helps promote the formation of stem cells that can differentiate into new brain cells. It's an important breakthrough because doctors now say brain injuries are at the center of countless cases of depression and death tied to suicides, including military veterans and professional athletes. I love to hit people. Dave Robinson, who helped lead the Green Bay Packers to victory in Super Bowls one and two, was known for his aggressive tackling. But he took a lot of hits, too. How many concussions do you think you had? Oh, more than you have fingers and toes. Concussions left Robinson foggy about the games he played in. It's just that I don't remember. A fog that lingers decades after he hung up his jersey. I can talk to you and, and everything we said tomorrow, forget most of it. He's dealt with headaches, irritability, and sleeplessness, too. Do you think that your agitation that your headaches, mm -hmm. that your um, sleeplessness is yeah. all tied to those knocks you took in football? I never did before. Do you now? Yeah, oh yeah. Robinson found out about HBOT here at the Pro Football Retired Players Association, where he and other Hall of Famers, including Mike Singletary, Mike Haynes, Ron Mix, and Billy Joe Dupree, are on the board of directors. Who's had a, a concussion? <laughs> Show me. I visited the board at a meeting in Arlington, Virginia. It was clear concussions remain a top priority. Who worries about the long-lasting effects of all those concussions that you've received, even if it's just one? Are you worried? Yeah. No surprise, HBOT experts are on the agenda a lot here. Because I've done it. Another Hall of Famer, former Buffalo Bills lineman Joe DeLamalier, says he got his life back after HBOT. I can't believe that everybody isn't doing it. The issue? Insurance won't pay for the treatments yet. And like most NFL players who played before 1993, Robinson doesn't receive enough in his monthly pension to pay for the 30 to 40 treatments he needs. People make the assumption you played football, pro football, you must be rich. That's and you problem. can't afford this. That's the problem. Executive Director Bob Schmidt, who was a quarterback for USC in the late 50s, is leading a push to get the NFL to provide regional HBOT clinics where current and retired players and even military veterans can get HBOT for free. I think if I can play a small part to accelerate that, that's where I want to be. Robinson and all the former star football players who are on the board are kicking it off voting to undergo HBOT themselves to prove it works. We're going to use our retired players to really bring this issue forward. So you want to change it and make HBOT part of Absolutely. the protocol? Absolutely. For Robinson... How was it, Dave? Pretty good. It wasn't bad at all. The path to healing has finally begun. Well, very relaxing, very peaceful. You liked it? I enjoyed it. But at 78 years old, this famed footballer knows he's racing against the clock. I don't want to get to that point where I don't recognize my friends and don't know where I am.
I reached out to the NFL and the Players Association for comment, but haven't yet heard back. Meanwhile, a coalition of military veterans is planning to move Robinson here to Cincinnati temporarily so he can complete the dozens of dives he needs and defeat what he calls the opponent inside his head. Of course, I plan to follow him every step of the way. From Local 12, the weather. You look good. Well, I feel good. Legendary linebacker Dave Robinson says he has a new lease on life. You seem a little more energetic. I think I am. A far cry from the worries he expressed less than a year ago. I don't get to that point where I don't recognize my friends and don't know where I am. This past winter, Robinson told me he suffered from murky memory, sleeplessness, and agitation, blaming it all on countless concussions he received playing football, including the years he helped lead the Green Bay Packers to victory in Super Bowls one and two. How many concussions do you think you had? Oh, more than you have fingers and toes. Now, for the first time in decades, Robinson says his mind is clearing. You feel better? Yes. More memory coming yes. back. He credits his recovery to treatments he received in this chamber. The treatment is called Hyperbaric Oxygen Therapy, or HBOT. It was originally designed to treat divers with the bends, which is why each session is called a dive. I did 40 dives. During these dives, the chamber pressurizes, pushing 100% oxygen into the lungs, which carry that pure oxygen to damaged sections of the brain. MRI images reveal sections of a brain filled with blue, dormant from injuries, lighting up in green with new activity after HBOT. Dozens of studies show HBOT helps heal wounded brains. That means HBOT could be a game changer for players suffering from chronic traumatic encephalopathy, or CTE, a degenerative brain condition caused by repeated blows to the head. In 2017, this study examined the brains of 111 former NFL players. 110 of them had CTE. Yet the FDA, which approves HBOT for treating 14 conditions, does not approve it as a treatment for brain injuries, saying there aren't enough rigorous studies to prove it works. Who worries about the long-lasting effects of all those concussions that you've received, even if it's just one? Are you worried? Yeah. <laughs> Some of the greats of the game, including Robinson, are on the board of the Pro Football Retired Players Association. Led by Executive Director Bob Schmidt, the board voted to try HBOT themselves. We're going to use our retired players to really bring this issue forward. And not surprisingly, leading the way is 79-year-old Dave Robinson, a giant on the field who's already enshrined at the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Now, Robinson says, he has one more run at greatness to be living proof that HBOT works. Is HBOT going to be part of your legacy now, too? I hope it is. I hope, I hope, when, I, I hope when I'm 100, I still have my memory, and still have my faculties, can still move around, and I can tell people I owe it all to HBOT. I'm Dwayne Pullman for Spotlight on America. While we wait on a potential vaccine, doctors are now turning to experimental treatments to save patients. But many of them don't know there's one showing promise in healing some of the sickest people. It is called hyperbaric oxygen therapy, and it could really be a game changer. Dwayne Pullman investigates whether it really works and why it isn't being used more often. From Louisiana, the results thus far are pretty impressive. To Long Island. I would say I'm, I'm, I'm encouraged that, you know, hyperbaric oxygen could, could be a benefit. And more than a dozen other hospitals across the U.S., early studies are revealing hyperbaric oxygen therapy, or HBOT, is saving the lives of critically ill COVID-19 patients. Is HBOT working for COVID-19 patients? Yes, it appears to be. Dr. Paul Harch, the director of hyperbaric medicine at LSU in New Orleans, founded HBOT.com. In the early days of COVID-19, Dr. Harch worked with Chinese doctors who published this study, revealing HBOT helped dozens of COVID-19 patients avoid ventilators and recover from the virus. The science is there to argue for hyperbaric oxygen for coronavirus. 
But the Food and Drug Administration continues to warn against using HBOT for anything other than 14 approved conditions, ranging from treating decompression sickness to healing burns and other wounds. The reason? FDA scientists say there's a lack of rigorous studies proving HBOT works as a treatment for other conditions. At New York University Langone Health, our hope is that through doing this in a rigorous way, we can try to overcome uh, sort of the stigma around hyperbaric therapy. Two doctors teamed up to conduct a rigorous case control study comparing coronavirus patients who received HBOT in these chambers at NYU Winthrop Hospital with patients who did not. The results are under review for publication, but what they found is stunning. Of 60 patients who did not receive HBOT, 30 or half needed to be placed on ventilators. 13 died. That's a mortality rate of 22%. Meanwhile, 20 patients did receive HBOT. Only two of them were placed on ventilators and two died. Still tragic, but a much lower mortality rate of 10%. It's small numbers, but the findings suggest that Hyperbaric oxygen therapy could reduce the mortality of this disease by half. As a layman who's not a scientist, that seems to me I'd look at it and say, wow, that worked. While these results are promising, what it really means is that we need to do a larger trial. But a big study will take time and cost big money. A tough sell for a treatment that isn't a drug. Getting funding for these types of trials is difficult because there's no big pharmaceutical company that has a, a large profit. Um, and that, that's just the way, the way the world is right now. Hey, look, if other people are doing it, let's collect more data. Dr. Thomas Serena, founder and medical director of a company that specializes in wound care and HBOT, is collecting that data from doctors across the country who are using HBOT on COVID-19 patients. Already, he's seeing a remarkable recovery rate. How often does it work? It seems to work in the 80%, 80, 90% range. Yet the goal of getting more COVID-19 patients into these hyperbaric chambers remains elusive. So many doctors, I believe, are not even aware of it. As science tries to catch up. What if we find out that hyperbarics works? And the pandemic continues to rage. We've never seen anything like this before. I'm Dwayne Pullman, Local 12 News.